I don't know what the issue here is. But Thank you, that's enough. It's, it's about relationship. I just want to stress that out. Jesus is about relationship. We can all agree that we're not perfect. We can all agree that we are empty. We can all agree that we're searching for something. Whatever that means to you, we are searching for something. We're not perfect. What makes us perfect, again, is the antidote, Jesus Christ, who was blameless, who gave us hope, who gave us life. That's the whole thing. We're talking about right and wrong. We all know what right and wrong is. We can all say, do you know what? Killing someone is wrong. Loving someone is right. So why do we not adhere to it? Why, do, why is that so hard? Because we want to serve ourselves and we think we know what best we want to live life for ourselves but jesus says love your enemies love people it's all about love it's not about nothing else that's all i want to show there's nothing else to stress there's nothing else to talk about we are not perfect we have the same thing 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 if you think you're perfect take your hands in the air are you perfect people you're perfect wow two out of Hundred. Why are you perfect? What makes you perfect? Because I follow I'm Muslim religion. What makes that perfect? Because my prophet was perfect. Your prophet was perfect. Compared to Jesus? Compared to Jesus, was your prophet perfect? He was perfect. What Jesus says, God says that Jesus was spotless. Jesus said that, God said that he was spotless. He was blameless. He had no sin. He became sin. You have a perfect relationship with God again. It's a perfect relationship with God. In the beginning, in the beginning, we had this perfect relationship with God. Which beginning? What? And the tree. There was plenty of trees. God wasn't saying, oh, do you know what? I'm going to make it really hard for you. He said, I'm making it easy for you. There's loads and loads of trees. You pick. You pick the tree that you want to eat from. The tree that you wanted to eat from was the tree of good and knowledge. That's separated you from God. That's separated you from relationship with God. God had to pay. God had to give the Redeemer, the Saviour. He is Jesus Christ. He saved you because He loved you so much. He is the perfect antidote for our imperfection. He is the perfect antidote for your imperfection. We can all agree that we're all sinners. We can all agree that we've missed the mark. What is sin? What is, what is sin? sin? Yeah. We've missed the mark. That's what it's sin is. We've missed the mark. We became our Which own mark gods. Did we, miss? we became our own gods. Which mark? We, we chose Which mark? to be I got, like... I got 100 that we chose to no be evil. Miss. That's why, do you know what? In the beginning, man chose to kill. Man chose to do all this. That's not God's heart. No, 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 God's no. God's no. heart's not no, for you to Jesus. kill someone. People God's are heart is people. to love people. That's your commandment. We're all created one mark, for love. One mark did we miss? All created one mark. for love. No, no. One mark did we miss? His mark. When the commands were, when the commandments were given, yeah. the ten commandments. Which do commandment? not command. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. That's come before Jesus. Do not, do, yeah, this Jesus. Come before that Jesus. was showing how imperfect we were before Jesus. Why is it? Why is That's it? why Jesus had to die because why? he was going to fulfill. Die. He was going to fulfill the commandments. He was going to fulfill the imperfection. He was going to fulfill the commandments. Jesus had to die. He was the antidote for that sin. He was the antidote for imperfection. We were imperfect because man chose to be their own God. We chose to be our own God. That's what killing. That's what killing. We can't lock our doors. We can't walk down the road without feeling that we could get attacked. Why do people kill each other? Why can't we love each other? That's the we love each other. We love each other. That's what we call to do. If we don't have love, then what is it all for? It's 70 years what if we live love? 90 years and we die and it's for nothing. Then what is the purpose? What is your purpose in life? What is your purpose? Who are you called to be? What is your ethic? What is your belief? What is your morals? Where do they come from? Because if it doesn't come from God, then we've all missed it. It's hunger game. It's hunger game. Kill each other, survive. It's survival. Survival of the fittest. You're not called to be that. You're called to love. You're called to have a relationship. That's all it is about. It's relationship, not religion. Religion divides. Religion stops you from having a relationship with God. It's all up here and not in here. If it's not in here, then what is it all for? You can study all you want. You can go to college. You can go to uni. You can have a peer with a qualification. So what is it for if you can't love your neighbours? If you can't help someone who's in need? If you can't give your own clothes to someone who needs it? The Bible says, the 
the Bible says, if a man is in need, help them. If a man is in need, help them. I'm a female, so I understand the hierarchy and the position. The hierarchy. I love people, and that's what it's about. The love of God. God so loved the world, He gave. Not that we gave. Not that we gave. He gave first. We are love. We are love. You see? Someone has done the word. Because you love first. Yes. That's the only reason why you love. The two things we want in life is love and relationship. Love and relationship. And if we don't have that, then what is it all for? Let's just kill each other. Let's get over and done with. And let's just stop arguing. Division is what kills. Separation is what kills. Love brings people together. Love. If we pray together now, there's going to be a union. There's going to be a strength. But if we divide each other, there's no division in the kingdom of God. God doesn't see colour. God doesn't see female and male. God doesn't say divide yourself, scatter yourself. You be one community, we be another. It's like, no, come together. Come together. And that's all it's about. We can't love our children one day. We're going to sacrifice our children. If we don't get this love sorted out now, we're going to kill each other. We're going to destroy each other. Then what is the point? Love is what, is. Love is what goes forward. The kingdom of God is all about love. And if you don't have that, like I said, I can't stress that enough. What are you believing right now? What is the rock that you have loved? I know what love was in my life. It was a man that could please me. It was a man that looked good. It was a man that gave me all the right things and the right words. That was not love. That wasn't God's best. The difference between a Christian man and the man of the world, a Christian man will love you because he loves Jesus. When he loves Jesus, you are priceless. When a man loves Jesus, he sees you. Through God's eyes, he sees you through God's eyes, and the respect that you have for you will be so different to a man who doesn't love God. He will just treat you as a bit of meat. And do you know what? That's not what you want because that's not God's best. God designed man to love women equally as man should love his wife. It's Christ of the church. That is all it's about. It's about that. Listen, I've made so many wrong choices in life. I had bad relationships. I had the stuff that was, was really bad. I didn't love life. I hated love. I loved the world. I loved what it provided. I loved going clubbing. But I went home feeling empty. I went home feeling worthless. My life was based on serving man. My life my identity came from relationships. My identity came from what I could get, what I could gain, my status, my job, my career, money, clothes, looking like the Kardashians, looking like this next best thing. If famous people are following rights, then why is their relationship deteriorating? It's not sex in the sea. That's glamorous. That's fake. That's not reality. The Kardashians are not the reality of this world. That, look at their relationships. Look in their relationships. We're not called to be like them. We're called to be like God who is holy, who is pure. My heart is to love you all. And this is why I'm sharing. It's because of that. Not because of anything else. I don't see colour. I don't see the race. I don't see age. I don't see none of that. I don't see you so what? what are you guys going to do? Who wants, to, who wants Jesus in their life? If you want Jesus in your life, put your hands up. It's confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. And you are born again. It's not about jumping through hoops. It's not about doing things to get to God. Because you couldn't do it. He did it. It was done. You could do nothing. You could not earn anything. If we missed the mark, he had to come. He died. Does anyone want to know Jesus today? Does anyone want to give their life to Jesus today? Because I tell you, if you have Jesus in the center, you have God as your Lord, your life will turn around. My life turned around within the six months when I knew who Jesus was, when the penny dropped that I was praying to be more when my value comes from him, not from my own, from it, not from tradition, my whole life came. And now you won't recognize me because Jesus is in me. My life has pain and death. And that's the difference. There should be no Islam, there should be no Hinduism, there should be none of that. He's a just God. He loves only you. And he says, take down your idols, take down whatever you believe, because I am holy. I am the one, I am the truth, I am the life. He is the way. That's all you need to know. It's not about work. You don't work out of relationship. He loves you, he's given you a relationship. He's made a possible to give you a relationship. 
the only thing with churches. Jesus, this is true. He was that. He was God in human form. He claimed to be God. It's a relationship between God and God. He's a God. He's a God. Let's not miss the mark. Let's not see. 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 Let's not see.